They all swim, have fins, and can grow to be pretty big. But what makes a whale a whale and a shark a shark? What is a whale shark exactly, and where do killer whales come into play? Let's get these terms straightened out. Let's start with whales. A whale is a mammal of the ocean. It passes all the mammal tests. It's warm-blooded, breathes oxygen through its lungs, gives birth to live offspring, and produces milk for their young. And they have hair. It may be hard to see at first, but if you take a close-up look, you can spot a few strands growing out of the top of their head. Whales belong to the order called cetaceans. The word cetus means large sea animal. Some examples include sperm whales, blue whales, humpback whales, and belugas. All cetaceans have five characteristics in common. They have a blowhole, four limbs modified into fins, a tail with horizontal flukes, eyes on the side of their head, and the use of echolocation. Echolocation is a method of sending out sound waves that bounce off of objects and reflect back to the animal that made the noise. Echolocation, sometimes referred to as biosonar, is very useful for hunting, communication, and navigation. Some whales hunt for prey while others filter feed. This means they swim with their jaws wide open, gulping water and filtering it like a giant vacuum cleaner. A special structure called a baleen helps filter out delicious marine organisms from the water. Now, onto sharks. A shark is really just a big, scary fish. It is not a mammal. Sharks are cold-blooded and have a body made of cartilage, the same substance found in our noses. Unlike whales that have a vast skeletal system, the only hard parts of a shark are its skull, spine, and jaws, which are often layered with rows of calcified, razor-sharp teeth. Sharks breathe by passing water through their gills and extracting the oxygen. If sharks stop swimming, they could actually drown. Common examples of sharks include great whites, hammerheads, and tiger sharks. Now that we know a little about whales and sharks, we can explore the mysterious and unusual whale shark. I mean, is it a whale or is it a shark? Or perhaps it's a mutant hybrid of both. As it turns out, the whale shark is a full-fledged shark. It is the biggest shark in the ocean, but it is also the most gentle. They congregate in warm tropical waters and are known to swim peacefully alongside divers and snorkelers. So why doesn't the whale shark attack or chomp down on its prey like its cousin the great white? Well, first of all, it's hard to chomp down when you don't have any teeth to chomp with. The tiny vestigial or remaining teeth in its mouth are of no use to it. The whale shark is a filter feeder. Just like its friend the baleen whale, whale sharks suck in huge amounts of water that pass through a filter pad. The pad collects plankton and expels the extra water through its gills. Whale sharks are so big and majestic, the Vietnamese honor them with the name Ka Ong, which translates to Sir Fish. In the Philippines, whale shark is printed on the 100 peso bill. Speaking of majestic, we now arrive to killer whales. You may have first come across a killer whale, or orca, when watching the movie Free Willy and its 18,000 pound star, Kiko. Killer whales stand out as one of the most intelligent and playful marine mammals. So how does such a playful animal get such a terrible name? The first written description of a killer whale was given by a Roman Navy commander in 70 AD who witnessed orcas hunting other whales. To be fair, this was a pretty rare occurrence. Orcas usually prey on fish and marine mammals, such as sea lions or penguins, and on special occasions, a shark liver or two. But hey, that's the circle of life. Orcas come from a group called the Odontoceti, or toothed whales, which breaks down into the Delphinidae family. Yep, it's exactly what it sounds like. Killer whales are actually a type of dolphin, and all dolphins are part of the whale order. Hmm, so do humans have anything to fear from these giant dolphins? Nope, no human has ever been killed by an orca in the wild. In fact, there are a few recorded accounts where orcas have actually protected people from danger. So let's sum it all up here. Whales are sea mammals known as cetaceans. Killer whales or orcas are a type of whale that belong to the dolphin family. Sharks are not mammals. They are big fish with a skeleton made up of cartilage. The biggest shark is the whale shark. The end. Ah! Created using Powtoon.